As you probably already surmised, this video is something completely different from what you're used to seeing on cruising Lea Lea. We've been getting a few questions about carrying guns on a boat, so we reached out to Chuuk of Chuuk's Outdoor Adventures here in Alaska to get more information on that subject. Chuuk's YouTube channel is about hunting and fishing in Alaska with lots of gun and gear reviews. We met up in Wasilla last month for a quick chat over lunch and decided to put this together for you. Be sure to check out his video for his top four choices and his reasons for choosing them. We asked him for his top picks as those guns most appropriate for use by those who travel by boat. and He came up with his top four, the Mossberg 500 Mariner 12 gauge shotgun, the Ruger Red Hawk 44 Magnum revolver, a Glock 10 millimeter automatic pistol, and the Ruger 1022 22 caliber semi-automatic rifle. Now, before we go any further, and before you load up the artillery and set sail, there are some things we need to consider. First and foremost, is it legal for you to have a gun at all, let alone on your boat? And for a lot of people watching this video, it's not. You may live in a place where uh, you're not permitted to have a gun of any kind, let alone a handgun. Uh, you may be traveling to a place where you're not allowed to bring a gun. And if you're traveling internationally, this is probably going to be a problem. Because everywhere you go, they're going to ask, are you carrying guns? And if you answer yes, you'll probably be asked to surrender them. Um, if you're in the United States, if you're cruising in the United States, uh, you may or may not be allowed to have a gun or to have one on your boat. So check local laws first. Very first thing you do if you've even got the slightest inkling of carrying a gun around on your boat or on your person, check the local laws, make sure it's legal for you to do so. Number two is if you decide to carry a gun on your boat or to have one at all, first get training, professional training, not just, you know, your brother-in-law or your cousin who knows all about guns, get professional training, take a class, Learn all about safety and all about safe gun handling and how to use it properly and safely. And then the second thing is, after you've got your training, take your gun to the range frequently and practice with it. Practice firing it, practice clearing it, practice cleaning it, practice putting it back together again, practice safe gun handling at all times. So, legally, and safely we can now proceed. Here in Alaska having a gun on a boat is almost a given. Uh, I've been on lots of fishing boats. I've never been on one that didn't have firearms aboard. Uh, I'm standing here uh, in my friend John's gun room. John is a commercial fisherman and an avid hunter and uh, he's out on his boat now, has been doing some hunting. And as you can see he has choices of which ones he wants to bring. Now, Chuuk's video, he's going to cover all of the technical aspects, why this gun or that gun is appropriate for use on a boat, and uh, what they are best used for. And I have a suspicion, haven't seen his video yet, but I have, kind of think he's going to be concentrating on hunting. And I know he favors the 10 millimeter and the 44 Magnum for bear defense, and uh, yeah. Now, I'm not going to get into whether or not you should bring guns on your boat. I'm just going to say I think that if you're traveling internationally, it's foolish. Um, if you arrive someplace and think you're going to need one for personal defense, guess what? When you clear customs, they're going to take it away from you or put it under seal and you're not going to be able to use it. If you do successfully sneak something through and then have to pull it out and use it, you're going to be in big trouble. So just don't. If you think some place is dangerous and you might need a gun, just don't go there. Um, it's just not worth the trouble. So, But here in Alaska, it's a different story. And a lot of people carry guns on their boats here. Um, there are good reasons to have a gun with you when you go ashore. So what I'm going to do is go quickly through Chuuk's uh, list of guns, show you a couple, and 
go over how to go about carrying them on the boat. Now Chuk's first choice, and my first choice also, is the uh, pump action shotgun. Now this one is a Mossberg Mariner 500, and it's clear. And um, as you can see, it is, uh, it's not stainless steel. This is called Marin Coat. It's a proprietary coating developed by Mossberg. Uh, the gun has synthetic furniture, so there's no danger of expansion or anything like a rot if it gets wet or anything like that. It's easy to maintain, not susceptible to rust and corrosion. And it's a 12-gauge shotgun chambered for 3-inch uh, magnum shells. Or in the, in the butt sleeve here. This is a you got 3-inch magnum bear slugs. And when it comes to protection against uh, wild animals, this is about the ultimate. It's also extremely versatile. You just use um, you can use a bird shot for birds, uh, small game number four buckshot uh, or double lot buckshot. And you can use it to hunt deer, uh, even large game like moose with the slugs. So uh, within close range, of course, because it's not a long range weapon. But for protection and small game hunting, it's hard to beat. The Mossberg Mariner 500. Now, to store one of these on a boat, uh, the best way is in a rack, something like what we have here. You just uh, build in a small, um, single, uh, single piece rack for the butt to rest into. One of your uh, closet lockers, it'll fit on. Uh, in a number of places on even a small boat. It can be uh, mounted horizontally under a shelf or vertically in, a, in a, a locker or somewhere up against the bulkhead. Easy to store and you don't need a case for it as long as it's someplace where it won't get soaked. And if it does get soaked, um, you should have been storing it clean with a light coat of oil and it shouldn't be a problem for you at all. These are very robust, very simple, and easy to operate, and with the coatings and the materials used, it'll stand up to the marine environment quite well. This is a Ruger 1022 takedown, 22 caliber semi-automatic rifle. It comes in this nice little case. You open it up like this. Here's the receiver. the barrel, they go together just like this, and there you have it. And so here it is, 1022 takedown, it's called a takedown for obvious reasons, it comes apart, there's a little release here, twist, put it back together again, like that. Uh, it comes with a 10 round magazine and uh, it also there are 25 round magazines available for them. It is a very handy little piece. This one is not for bear protection but it is a nice little survival gun good for small game hunting. They use them here in Alaska for ptarmigan, rabbits, uh, porcupines, things like that. The 1022 takedown. And storing this is a piece of cake. You just um, break it down into its two pieces and slip it back into its carrying case. Case like nice small case, easy, easy to store. There's lots of places, any place to put it on the boat. The gun itself is made of stainless steel. The furniture is all synthetic, and it's pretty well impervious to the weather. Now the last thing I want to mention is uh, storage. If you're taking handguns, especially, you want to use something like this Pelican case to store them. It's the same kind of 
uh, Pelican case that you would use for uh, expensive electronic gear, cameras, uh, what have you. Uh, excellent quality. <clears throat> this particular one is called the uh, Pelican Vault and uh, it's made specifically for transporting handguns. So it's got steel inserts for the locks and you can use one of these to carry on an airplane, not in uh, carry-on baggage, but in your check baggage you put the TSA locks in here and you can travel with your guns if you're so inclined. But these are pretty ideal for carrying something on the boat, uh, especially if the handguns you have are not stainless steel. If they're blued, um, there's no problem really. People have been carrying steel weapons to sea on boats as long as there have been steel weapons. And long before there were pelican cases. In fact, even before there were steel weapons, they were carrying iron weapons to sea on boats. It's just a simple matter of preventive maintenance, uh, a light coat of oil, proper storage, someplace dry. Just like they taught us in the Army. And, of course, if you want to know more about firearms and about Alaska, about hunting in Alaska, please do check out Chooks Outdoor Adventures, because he's the guy that has all that information for you. I think this is the last I'm going to talk about guns on this channel. I know this video is a little different from what you're used to seeing on Cruising Lealea. I don't think we're going to revisit the subject again, but we would like to know what you think about it. So please do leave a comment, tickle that like button, Subscribe to our channel and follow the links at the end to visit Chooks Outdoor Adventures. Also, take a look at our Patreon page. I was like to some target practice.